Play Verdant Sanctuary? That's too slow. What about Santa Claus? Can Santa Claus be put in defense position? Reverse reuse? Hmm, maybe. Zero gravity for extra spiciness? I got no room for those kinds of effects. Didn't you want to add some cards to your deck? I did add some cards to my deck. I had two Imperm start? Yeah, this is enough to stop a lot of plays. Ooh, Medulce and Jelly. Medulce Salon. Summon the Moon Spider and pass. I don't have Moon Spider currently, but I can make it live pretty easily. Santa Claus is summoned in defense position. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that's an option. <gasps> Medulce and Jelly. I can shut down all their combos by stopping this one normal summon. And just stop his teacher. Unless infinite impermanence doesn't carry over to the graveyard. I'm pretty sure it does, right? End phase. Wow, he really didn't do anything. Um, should I lightning storm now? I don't think I need to. <laughs> Resident insect. Imperm, the a la mode, or hoot cake. Turn one is generally a good idea. Maxi. Oh, they think I'm going to summon something. That's funny. No, I'm just going to crash into Angeli. No need to uh, do anything. Crash the bug. Target one card you opponent controls and one Medulce monster you control. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. I learned my lesson. I'm gonna set infinite impermanence this time. Hear me out. Level limit area B? Mm, nah, I don't know. I'd rather just play. Here, I'll let them use Angeli this time. I'm a, a generous god. How do you make that evil laugh? I just try very hard. Imperm the pudding sis. I can just imperm this to stop all their plays. Without hoot cake, they can't go into any other cards. They're stopped for the whole turn. And now if they activate a card in the middle monster zone, they're ham boned. What about lose one turn in this deck? I was playing lose one turn before. Okay, I can use this to search out, let's see, which one do I have in my hand? Gandora? Okay, we'll get Cubungus, the sticky string kaiju. A generous streamer? Exactly. You know, I was playing lose one turn, but it wasn't like performing as well as I wanted it to. Okay, so first I'll go into Cubungus. I don't really need to, but I'm going to. Then I'll activate Giant Ballpark, and then I'll go into Gandora. And then Resident Insect. And then I'll beat him over with a whole bunch of big damage. Oh, I probably should have used it there. Resident Insect. I'm gonna negate my 1000 damage, send Shiny Black Sea to the grave, and then I can summon three copies of the card. And attack for what would have been game. No, I think he still would have had some life points left. Cumongous. Cumongous what? Okay, and then I can just go into uh, this card to stop any other extensions. Oh, maybe I should have went to something else. No cowboy? Heck no, who plays cowboy anymore? Cowboy is so 2000 late. Baguska, Medulce's, Folds to Mid. Yep, they can't do anything with Baguska. Thoughts on Time Thief? Also a great stream, Mr. Logs. Why, thank you, Diego Flores. Um, I love Time Thieves. I use them a lot. Especially in my Crazy Box Turbo deck. Ooh, another... Another card. Okay, we can put all of these cards into attack position. And close out for game. There's no way any of his cards have... A high enough defense for this, right? Like, I can go into this one with three... I'll, I'll just do this. I should be fine. I don't think they play any good defense position cards. Yeah, he just shuffles himself back into the deck. Mother Spider wins again. A Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega stream? Heck no. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel or nothing. Unluckiest Medulce player? Yeah, probably. Should I play lose one turn? Lose one turn? Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. Wait, what was the other card you guys said? Level limit area A. Change all face up level three or lower monsters to attack position. Oh no, it's area B. Change all level four or higher monsters to defense position. <gasps> if I did this, I'd screw myself over too. Why no face cam? Um, The reason I don't have a face cam, here, I'll show you. Okay. 
The reason I don't have a face cam is because I'm actually a 300 pound spider who lives on the moon. You want my name? Yeah, sure. It's humongous. Okay. 